Copper peptide, is it worth the hype and should you be using it? Let's get into it. This is one of the few peptides that actually has loads and loads of studies around it, particularly around wound generation and collagen generation because it serves as an early signal for that. Now benefits wise, you're looking at improved elasticity, firmness, skin density, reduced wrinkles, fine lines, all those sorts of good things. Shown in vitro to be even better than Matrixyl 3000, which is quite impressive. And in my studies, it was shown to improve on the wound generation as well as skin conditions. However, it's plagued by some of the same issues that all peptides are pretty much plagued with where the in vivo studies are questionable. So for example, not enough participants, subjective measurements, not knowing what a baseline is. So you might say, oh, this was a 200% increase in collagen production, holy crap. But the placebo was only doing a 0.1% collagen increase over doing nothing. So you net 0.2% collagen production, which is, I guess, better than nothing, but it's not that great. The one study that really stood out to me was a 17.8% increase in skin thickness taken with an ultrasound, so very impressive. Ultimately, can this get to where it needs to go to do what it needs to do? I use it when I microneedle. A uh, study found that really not much was getting through without the aid of microneedling. So ultimately with this, with the body of evidence available and the anecdotes that I've seen, a little bit weaker than some of the other peptides. That doesn't mean it doesn't have great potential and you shouldn't use it. If you've used it and had good results, let me know what you think.